The player count for Pet Simulator 99 is at an all-time low since the weekly update schedule has started back up again. And this Saturday, we have a major update that's going to serve as a crucial moment for the game where people decide whether or not they want to come back or just quit playing altogether. In this video, we're going to be doing a deep dive into all of the leaks that we currently have for update 17, and it is a lot, but included in those leaks are a few controversial ones, so you are definitely going to want to hear this. Now, if you enjoy staying up to date on the latest news and insights for Pet Simulator 99, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get right into this video. Now, at the time that I'm recording this video, the player count for the game is sitting at around 55,000. Now, this is the lowest that I have seen in quite a while, and quite frankly, the lowest that I've seen since this weekly schedule has came back. Now, the lowest that I've actually seen the game at was around 40,000 active players. Now, don't get me wrong, that is still a lot of people, but the game was on a huge downturn before they reintroduced the weekly update schedule. And it seems like in the past few weeks, the player count has only been going down and down as people have not really enjoyed the new updates that big games has been bringing now obviously i am extremely biased with this because i do want the game to succeed but i can tell you guys how it is and it people have just really not been enjoying the types of updates that big games has been bringing now some of you guys might be thinking that it's because big games has just been way too pay to win there's too many pay to win things in the game and there's just not enough content to keep going off of but quite frankly in my opinion i just think big games is in kind of a drought for good ideas on how to actually make these updates i've also seen a ton of people debating and saying that big games should go back to a bi-weekly schedule which i'm not sure why people keep saying that because i don't think big games has ever been in a bi-weekly schedule before the weekly update schedule that we have now, they were doing updates every three weeks, and these every three week updates honestly did not have much content at all, and I think the weekly updates that we've had recently had just as much content as they were packing in those three week updates. In my opinion, I don't think it's the weekly schedule at all that needs to be changed. I think big games just needs to actually just have better ideas for the updates because clearly it seems like big games has just fallen into a pattern of trying to make this themed update with a new world in five levels and then implementing some new forever pack with it and essentially that is all they do and then they call it a day and clearly people have not been enjoying it all that much as the player count has been slowly declining week by week now clearly i'm not saying that i know what's best and what big games needs to do with these updates but it just seems like they need a little bit of a mind refresher to come up with some creative ideas that actually gets people engaged with the game and happy to actually log in. But I have seen some posts from the community of people calling for big games to go back to that bi-weekly update schedule. Now, I think if big games actually does this, then the game might actually die out because honestly, before this weekly update schedule even came out, we were sitting at all time low players. And truly the only thing that actually revived the game from that point was bringing back these weekly updates and again i just feel like the amount of content that they've been putting out every week is pretty sufficient i just think the ideas for that content have not been that good at all but let me know down in the comment section what you think and if you think big games should go back to a schedule where they only do an update every few weeks Personally, as somebody who makes content on the game, I just really like the schedule of being able to look forward to something new at least every week on Saturdays. And personally, I would honestly be very scared to see what would happen if we didn't have an update every Saturday, especially because like by the Friday of every week, the player count just gets lower and lower. And then the weekly update usually revives the player count for like a day or two. But anyways, let's actually move on to some of the leaks that we can expect to see on saturday so you guys can determine whether or not you think this update is enough to bring players back to the game or if it's going to kill it forever but anyways the first of this leaks and probably one of the most controversial that i have seen some people pretty upset about is this picture because if you were playing pet simulator this week there was actually a moment within the game where you could actually see two forever packs 
and one of them was actually the forever pack for the update coming on saturday so it does appear that we are going to get a new forever pack for each of these weekly themed updates that we're getting now honestly i'm pretty sure that most players in the game don't care if big games does put a new forever pack it is good content for youtubers that want to waste a ton of robux and the vast majority of players honestly probably don't spend any robux on it at all but the issue with the forever pack is that people feel like big games is putting way too much of an emphasis on all of the pay to win stuff in the game and not putting enough time into these updates and thinking of actual good content ideas that make the game enjoyable in itself so when the average player sees that big games is putting in a brand new forever pack basically every other week in the game they feel like big games is just not spending the time on the things that they actually came to enjoy the game for so obviously some people are going to be upset by this and i did see a few posts criticizing the use of the forever pack in each of these little themed updates now we also did get a new leaked exclusive egg that we will go over in a second but that's just a, another thing that big games has been putting in rather consistently so every two weeks we get a new exclusive egg which is basically just another pay to win item that's added to the game so when big games continues to add all of these pay to win things to the game when people aren't even enjoying the updates that these new pay when items are coming in then it creates that kind of bias towards the game and just leaves a bad taste in the average player's mouth and that could be one of the reasons why we're seeing the player count decline over time now again i don't want to come off as a hater for the game because i understand why big games does this and honestly i don't see it as a problem if people want to spend their money on the game i just feel like it becomes an issue when the main focus of these little themed updates is to push out all of these new pay to win items and not actually create new content for the players to actually enjoy in the game but i'm gonna have to cut a lot of yapping out of this video so let's keep moving on next up we actually got this good versus evil machine that's being added to the game now i showed a picture of this in yesterday's video but this one is a lot better quality so you guys can see what it actually looks like now it's a common belief in the community that this new machine is going to be used to create these new gift bags for the clan battle that's starting on saturday Saturday. if you didn't see in the last patch notes for the update big games actually put a note at the bottom saying that the new clan battle is going to start on saturday instead of the regular week break that we've had so far so we actually have a whole bunch of leaks for the new clan battle that's starting on saturday and it seems like the developers said they had a good idea for a clan battle and that's why they wanted to skip the week break in between this time so it's definitely going to be interesting to see what the devs have have been cooking up now speaking of the clan battle there is also a strong belief within the community that this clan battle is going to be something sort of like the core battle that we saw a few weeks ago which basically means that when you grind in the final area you will get something that drops that you'll be able to use to craft these good versus evil gift bags and that's what we think is actually going to be the objective of the clan battle now i'll have on the screen here this leak which is basically some sort of like angel feather as well as some sort of devil horn now a lot of people believe that this leak is actually going to be the item that drops from breakables that we're going to be able to use to craft these new gift bags now if you guys remember the core battle there was a lot of people upset in the community because they felt like that clan battle was pay to win and that was because the items that you actually use to craft the glitch gift bags were the cores and they were actually tradable so basically whoever had the most amount of diamonds was winning that battle because they could just go ahead and buy all the cores from the trading plaza so whoever was willing to spend the most essentially won that battle now i've seen some people upset about this because they feel like this is going to be some sort of the same thing where people are going to be able to sell these in the trading plaza so essentially whoever is paying the most of the top clans is going to be able to win now personally from a player's perspective perspective i do have my own clan and i do like to participate in the battles but honestly for these pay to win clan battles i don't really care all that much and i'd rather all of my clan mates to make a ton of diamonds during this time 
So if the items to actually craft these gift bags are tradable, then honestly, that's just going to be a great opportunity for us to make a ton of diamonds by just selling the stuff that we get from drops. And even though I think clan battles are a big part of the game, I think this is overall a good thing for the economy because it shifts around a lot of the diamonds from the rich clan members to the poor, less active players in the game. So whoever's just grinding is able to make a ton of diamonds during these times. So honestly, I do hope this clan battle does have these items that we are able to craft the gift bags with and we're able to trade them and sell them so we can all make a ton of diamonds. You're gonna have to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about that aspect. That's just my personal opinion, but I understand those of you who are competitive and just want to win a battle by grinding the hardest. Now, really quickly, here are the actual gift bags that I was just talking about, those good versus evil. So these are the gift bags that people think we're going to be able to craft in order to get points for our clan in the battle. And really quickly, this is all theory. This is not confirmed. All we have are these pictures to go off of. So people are just puzzling this thing together and that's what they think is going to happen. So don't come for me if this doesn't turn out to be true. This is just the consensus of what I've seen in the community and what people think is going to happen. Now, next up, we actually have the clan battle rewards. So not that many people care about this, but it is cool to see nonetheless. On the screen here, I'll have the new huge safety cat, which is going to be the top 10 reward for clans that win the battle. So this is going to be some sort of little safety themed clan battle. I'm not really sure where they're going with this, but the devs did seem like they were pretty excited and they seemed like they had a good idea for this. So we're going to have to wait and see if they cooked or not. Besides that, I'll have on the screen here the hoverboard and the new trading booth. So both of these are obviously safety themed as well. If you do like competing in these clan battles, winning these might be lucrative to you. Definitely something to look forward to if that is your thing. Now, next up, I'll have this leak on the screen here, which is a picture of 11 new eggs that we're supposedly getting in this update. Now, if I take a look at the areas that we currently have, the top area currently goes up to 214. So if we add 11 new eggs, which usually means 11 new areas, that would mean we have 225 areas here, which actually means that in this update on Saturday, we could be seeing a brand new rebirth, which honestly not that many people are huge fans of having a rebirth. But honestly, I don't think it's a big problem and I'm welcoming any little damage boost or boost to diamonds and other things as well. And honestly, every time we get a new rebirth, it also comes with some sort of cool little event usually. So honestly, I'm not too upset about this, but I could see how some of you might not enjoy the idea of having to do another rebirth. Now, obviously, we don't know for sure if they're going to add 11 new areas in this update. But as you guys know, with the hacker world, every area that we got has a new egg. So because we got 11 new eggs in this update, supposedly we are thinking we should be getting 11 new areas. Just another thing, we'll have to wait and see how big games ended up handling this. Now, next up is the leak that we actually went over yesterday, which are these brand new exclusive eggs. So these are actually called the new flex eggs. So inside these new flex eggs, it seems like we're going to be getting some sort of little baller slash flexing pets so this titanic flex cat actually has sunglasses on he has a hat he looks pretty baller so i guess you guys can see the theme here they just want to add some sort of flexing animals in this new exclusive egg which also means that it's very likely we see the blazing egg leave the exclusive shop this also really makes you wonder how long they plan on leaving the superior chest mimic in the shop because it actually has been in here for quite a while so i could honestly see them either removing this or just adding like two new exclusive enchants at some point now the only reason that i don't think it's going to leave the exclusive shop this week is because it actually doesn't have that little last chance symbol here but forgive me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure the superior chest mimic has been in the exclusive shop for over a month now which is absolutely insane that is a long time for an enchant to be in the shop all by itself so if they could just pump out a 
new exclusive enchant and start selling it for robux i don't see why they wouldn't do that at the time of recording this video we have no leaks about new enchants coming into the game so at the moment it doesn't look like we will be getting anything new just yet now once again i am sorry for yapping that long but definitely let me know down in the comment section what you think about this update and whether or not you think this is enough to bring people back to the game and get people excited about pet simulator once again now completely unrelated to this i've been playing a lot of anime defenders as well as playing pet simulator and i've really been enjoying the game so i honestly will probably have a couple videos out on anime defenders this week let me know down in the comment section what you think about that as well as all the other stuff i told you to comment about besides just being a very fun grinding game it also has a good little trading plaza which is actually pretty similar to pet simulator 99's trading plaza so potentially expect a video out on that game tomorrow again thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video and peace out